the House of Representatives have approved a 15 billion naira special intervention fund for Kanu over the management of the coronavirus pandemic and the mysterious deaths recorded in the state in the last two weeks. The motion was moved by the Leader of the House, Honorable Al Hassan Dogua, calling for quick and urgent intervention by the federal government to save the lives of residents of the state. Honorable Dogua says that if the situation in Kanu is not quickly checked, more residents will lose their lives in the coming days. Convinced of the urgent need to arrest the rising cases of unexplained deaths in Kano State and also scale of national response initiative to the coronavirus pandemic, including the establishment of at least one testing center in every state of the Federation to save the nation from the grave scenario being witnessed today in Kano State. Appreciate the actions taken by the Federal Republic of Nigeria as contained in the recent national broadcast by the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Muhammad Buhari. The House resolves that to summon the DG NCDC, Honorable Minister and Chairman of the Presidential Tax Force to appear before it at plenary on Tuesday, May 5, 2020, to brief it on government response initiative to the COVID-19 pandemic and its template for the intervention in all the states of the Federation. All the 24 House of Reps members, the House of Assembly members, should go to their constituencies and engage with the religious and traditional leaders in their community and explain this thing. Because we have seen so many viral videos where people are chanting they don't believe in coronavirus. And it is very dangerous, Mr. Speaker. So I want to urge all members from all the states, because it is canal today, it can be any state tomorrow. If you play kids' gloves with coronavirus, it will deal with you. Look at what had happened in Ghana. They, take, they thought they were succeeding and they relaxed too early. What happened? There was a spike. So we have to be very, very careful, Mr. Speaker. So I am urging all our colleagues to ensure that all our communities are aware of this scourge, this invisible enemy that is killing people. We must also have to get to our people to know that this is real. The message, whoever they hear, whether they are the clerics or whoever, we must have to get it right. And I think this has to be domiciled in every part of the Federation. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, the fact that the testing center in Kano is not working is a pointer to the fact that we can't get it right. NCDC has to be proactive. If you are not testing, how do you determine who has, who, I mean, why people have died? How do you know how people have been affected? As a matter of fact, the, fact, the issue of testing is the foremost on how to prevent. Because when you test, you isolate. You avoid a situation where it escalates. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, this is the very point in time that we have to, we are thinking cash. It is better that we import test kits from China than importing Chinese.